troops. A World War II torpedo boat that sank three enemy ships and took part in two invasions has returned to its home port. Volunteers at the World War II Museum in New Orleans spent more than a decade restoring PT Boat 305 to the way it looked in 1944. Patrol torpedo boats were among the fastest and most heavily armed vessels for their size. Then Navy Lieutenant John F. Kennedy commanded a PT boat in the South Pacific. Omar Villafranca is in New Orleans to show us the remarkable restoration. Omar, good morning. Good morning. This is PT-305, also known as the USS Sudden Jerk. And this is exactly what the boat looked like during World War II. And if you were a German boat and you saw this vessel, there was probably a torpedo already headed your way. After more than 70 years, the vessel is finally back home and one of the original crew members took it on another mission. Very big honor. Thank morning, you so much. Captain George Benedetto, welcome aboard PT-305. After more than 70 years, Jim Narrison is back on his boat. The last time the former Navy Petty officer stepped on PT-305, he was about 19 years old, and the American Navy vessel was stationed off the coasts of France and Italy during World War II. He gave us a boat to fix. Did a beautiful job. On Thursday, the 92-year-old veteran took the newly restored vessel on its inaugural ride on Louisiana's Lake Pontchartrain. Sounds the same as it did then, the vibration under your feet. The patrol torpedo, or PT boat, is the latest addition to the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. There are plenty of planes, ships, and other artifacts for people to see at the museum. Good to have the 305 back in her home. But soon, visitors will be able to ride on the world's only operational PT. Each vessel carries four torpedoes. Before it made it back to New Orleans, the boat was barely salvageable. Joshua Schick is one of the museum's curators. Well, I know what a PT is supposed to look like, so she looked pretty sad to me. You know, she's just a beat up old work boat. After her service in World War II, the vessel kept working as a tour boat in New York City and an oyster boat in the Chesapeake Bay. Eventually, what was left of PT-305 was found in Texas. It was brought to the museum to start a vigorous 10-year restoration project. It took more than 200 volunteers, more than 120,000 hours to restore the boat to what it looked like in World War II. The people who worked on the boat, they say it was all worth it. He was speechless when he came out, and, and I kind of had to turn away for just a second and collect myself, so <laughs> it's amazing. You know, we do all this work, we put all this blood, sweat, and tears into it, and, and to have him approve is, is really all I wanted, um, and now let's teach people about it. We had a lot of fun. A one-time torpedo operator, Narrison still has war stories to tell. He knew the one-ton weapon was fueled by compressed air, and 180 proof grain alcohol. Sometimes he admits the crew would sip the fuel just to make sure they were battle ready. The torpedo wasn't going to use it all anyway, so we kind of tapped off a little bit of it. A little, a little bit of torpedo fuel for yourself. We call it torpedo juice. <laughs> <laughs> Narrison plans to ride PT 305 again with his grandkids so his family can see what it was like on what he calls his boat. You called it your boat. Yeah. After 70 plus years, do you still feel like it's your boat? Absolutely. You get attached to a boat. You know, anybody that's ever had a boat of any size uh, gets to attached to it and you you take care of it. You, uh, you love it, you know, and uh, whether you own it or whether you're just a, a seaman on board, it's still your boat. And that's the way I feel about this one. I may not own it, but it's still my boat. PT-305 ran more than 70 patrol missions and dropped countless torpedoes like this one, but she is not ready for retirement. Next week, she'll start taking history buffs out for a ride on Lake Pontchartrain. Tickets are $350, and that may sound a little bit pricey, but all the tickets for the month of April are already sold out. Wow. Anthony? Omar, thank you. you know, wow. All praise to those people who created the World yeah. War II Museum. Absolutely. And what a life that boat has had, oh, yeah. huh? And so great that Jim Narrison could rise it, ride it one more time. <laughs>